Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Donald the Repentless, coming at you from YouTube. Well, actually my home in Pocatello, Idaho, but you're seeing this on YouTube more than likely. Today I want to talk about hell. I'm not going to go into a lot of details this time, but hell comes up quite a bit when I'm discussing things on Twitter. Also, when I was a kid, going to the seven, you know, seven, uh, the Southern Baptist and Methodist church, churches, while well, I also went to the Seventh Day Adventist as well, hellfire and brimstone sermons were quite common. And whenever Christians on the web cannot convince you with their usual rhetoric, they fall back on threatening hell, or at least. Hell could be possible. What if you're wrong? You know, a couple of things about that. Now, I may go back and, and make a, video, a more detailed video where I go through my reasons for why hell is highly unlikely and even improbable. But for right now, let's just look at this threat of hell that Christians t tend to put out there. The main problem I have with it is that one can, you know, one shouldn't live their life in fear of something that may or may not be real. And that's what they appeal to is that, aren't you afraid that after you die, you're going to burn and be tortured forever? No. You know, as someone who's had a fairly hard life, I can't say I've had the hardest life of anybody in the world, I have experienced a lot of pain in my past. Um, I may one day do a biography of myself, but until then, let's just say I have experienced some pain. And, you know, you can't live your life in fear of pain. Pain is part of a reality. Pain is part of life. Um, I can't imagine an afterlife being any more painful than, than what I've experienced. Also, I'm, and this is one thing, when I do make a video in detail about hell, that just doesn't make sense is after a while you become acclimatized to your own personal suffering your own personal pain unless some external force causes you to not be able to do that after a time pain fades even if you're continuing to suffer pain one sort of adjusts. And if, I mean, the worst part about hell, the worst part about eternity is the actual living of it. I mean, what? I, I always go back to this quote from the five doctors where the first doctor is talking to the rest of them and talking about the game of Rassilon and he says, that Rassilon knew that pain, uh, sorry, that immortality was a curse, not a blessing. And I tend to agree with that sentiment. That living forever is not some kind of blessing. Even if you're in the presence of a god. And, I mean, what exactly are you supposed to do with yourself? How do you get past the point that you've done basically everything you can possibly do, experience all the things that you could possibly experience with this within this reality without going insane. I mean, I don't care how wonderful, how awesome you think your God is, being in their presence for all that time, you're going to eventually grow bored of it. You're going to eventually want some stimulus 
that you can't have because it doesn't exist. I mean, okay, I keep saying I mean, but but what's the point of living forever? What could possibly be that exciting that goes on for that long that can possibly keep even the longest attention span interested? So the problem with eternity for me, when you boil it down, is eternity is long stretches of doing nothing and because life is that. It's, it's long stretches of nothing happening and then things happen. And either you're waiting for something to happen or you're in the midst of something to happen or going, wait a minute, that's now over with what comes next. And eternity is a whole, is way longer than that. And I just can't imagine wanting to be a part of this endless stuff that may or may not be stimulating you. I don't know if I'm making sense, but if you like this video, thumbs up it, share it, um, subscribe to my channel for more um, discussions of atheism and various topics on my channel. This is Donald, The Repentless, signing off. Be awesome, everyone.